Hi, in this video I'll show you how to easily set up XM3 for a 6 uh, plugin for a MC1280. You can see this on here. I connect everything just for to give an example of the connections and a little bit of the outputs explaining what is each one but uh, first we'll have to focus on the software so I open the XM software uh, you can see here uh, uh, I don't have any profile loaded the math setting is empty uh, the output setup there's no use of settings here because we won't need those if you have anything set up here just remove it no components needed here um, so you have to go to interface settings first of all after you copy the plugin or if you have the new version that there is that has a plugin in there just enable it you will see it here in the list so when you enable it you should be able to see it yep okay so you should be able to see it the outputs there six of pitch roll sway so and um let me zoom out again so uh now to verify that everything is connected that you can see the controller correctly uh, you can uh, click on the name of the plugin Thanos 6DOF at the open setting then you can see here the control panel uh, for the 6DOF software so um, one main thing you have to make sure is that the software can detect your, uh, your controller so here is the identification that uh, means that it detected from COM7 port it could be anything com 10 com 12 but um, anything you have uh, it can detect with any any port but you can set it in a lower port either 8 or like com port 4 for example 3 doesn't matter um, so as you can see here now it runs automatically uh, and it's connected to XIM uh, this moment here so uh, if you want to test it uh, manually to see if you can get the outputs from here from the sliders onto on the hardware you have to disconnect XIM first of all let's do that so it says a message that's unleaked so I'll uh, some sliders here that's for the heave As you can see there it responds right, the same with the lights okay so I'll just leave it under it okay let me zoom out again now if you want to see a 3d representation of the 60 UF platform and make the correct settings for the um, dimension stuff you can do the 3d simulation button here or you can see a test uh, what is uh, the positions you can take like uh, right now I've set it for I don't know, you can see here okay I've set it uh, for uh, some limits for the angles of the platform to be about 30 degrees on your pitch and roll and of course how much displacement has for a sword sway it heave so let me zoom out here so I leave that for reference there in the background just to oh, so we can uh, watch it move along with the hardware 
while we're testing uh, profile so I'll just leave the this one down there too I'll connect it to XIM again so if you try to move the slides now that's connected you'll see that it doesn't let you because it gets values from the XIM so that's normal okay it just says because that's the value it gets from XIM all right so let's go back to XIM we have the input here for the sixth of the control interface so but you have nothing here in the math interface uh, you can go on start building interface I'll just build something for example just one axis for example the the yo axis that you can do the same for pits roll shoots sway teeth but uh, I'll just show you a trick that you may don't have to do that just load the profile that's existing online um, let me go and do that like add axis I'll, ax I'll do axis uh, yeah okay and here in the drop down menu there's a drop down menu that says what to use for uh, interface output so you can use your but no you can use directly the outputs now from the card so I'll just use this one okay and uh, as you can see here it's still empty you have to add the force output here I'll double click on that and uh, in the drop down menu I'll uh, choose uh, oh it's empty yeah it's empty because I'll have to use let me see first of all we we'll have to go to the extractor and uh, go to the motion driver for air factor telemetry plugin make sure that's it's not selected so I'll just select as a factor oh there it is okay so you have to select the button that says tutter setup for left dialog so you get all the forces down there that's above okay so close it let's go back okay let's do it again output um, oh there it is let's select this one effect to deny yo and uh, you can do automatic adjustment have it uh, sets while you're playing so it, it automatically sets the maximum okay so I'll just insert that in the math list and continue so we have an access there now I'll go ahead and try it so you can see what I'm talking about uh, have to click on play game here first of all I'll name it something else um. Play game Let's see Drive testing. Let's check it. Race. Now you can go back here and click 
start if you don't click the start it won't start setting any values so click start and then you can just minimize it or oh, let's see yeah input gets some values so okay here you can minimize that anymore there it is as you can see it already started getting some values there to find the maximum just for heave the yell let me put it down there so you can see it Okay. All right. So that's working. So I'll just um, close that again. Let me try something else, okay? So I have here a profile that's already set up, but you can use actually if you go if you don't have anything loaded yet that you want to make a profile, you can just go to go to the online clouded profiles. So you can enter in the search my username. GR, click search online it, you'll see here this one with the ID 4044 that's the 60 UF Thanos number 2 that's actually verified by me click on that and then you can click down there just download this profile and return okay so now you can use this with a profile converter. Let me see. So in the math section now you should have all the settings there. And uh, along with that some smoothest filter I have set. So you can see actually the values inside there. It's already set. The access set. So I'll just try it now again. No game connection is available. Of First course. please establish the network communication and press start. So you have to Anyway, play game. Starting in the Xing converter, I can see the values here, so everything is okay from the inputs. Okay, so that's the platform now. You can see all the inputs there, the sliders are working as expected now because that's profile that I've set up, it verified correctly. It actually works. But uh, you can do the same for any game. Uh, you can use this profile for example. 
see what values it uses and from what forces like uh, it's from uh, lateral logitron acceleration or pitch yeah with that test them all actually see the result on the output there on the 3d here for example i have the output on the controller You can see here the LEDs actually here represent the middle one is the speed and the left and right is the direction it uses. Right now the direction is not correct because I, it's not connected to anything but just center as much as possible. Here's the position that I'm using. There. Okay, so just this one again so you can see a little more of this and turn on the volume as you can see the it's a role in this game in error factor it's, it depends on the if you're going uphill or downhill it's not uh, uh, but that's good because it's either more realistic see I'm going downhill now you can see the nose is going down a little bit that's the front that's the back so See now it's going downhill, the nose is going down. So I think that's pretty much how you can try the new Sixtof plugin. It's not so hard. You can get the profile ready from the online area. Uh, just load it and use that. And uh, the rest is very easy in the math setup. Let me stop that. If you want to change an output, you just click on select the output you want, set up it, choose a different output there. So just remember when you have to start something to start playing it, click on start, it won't work again like the external uh, file it was before. Now it's fully integrated, so just need some help to make sure that we have enough games with six of outputs to take advantage of these settings. And uh, you can verify this using the simulation window. You don't even have to have hardware or uh, uh, actual platform like this. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Thanks very much for watching.